So good morning. I am Prabhu Benwarad, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, BLDCT, Jaipur. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the test for the independence, that is autocorrelation test. So the autocorrelation test are concerned with the independence between the numbers in a sequence. So let us consider a sequence of the random numbers. So here by visual inspection all these numbers appears random and also these numbers may pass two frequency test that is case test and chi square test. However an examination of 5th, 10th, 15th and 20th number and so on indicate a very large numbers in that position. So the notion is the number in the sequence might be related. The relationship would not have to be all numbers high. It may also possible to have all numbers in the location being examined are low and the numbers could alternate from very high to low. So can we say these numbers are random? So let us apply autocorrelation test to check whether these random numbers satisfies the property of the independence or not. So the following are the steps described for the autocorrelation test. So the first step is define the hypothesis for independence that is Ri is independent in a sequence and H1 is the hypothesis the random number Ri is not independently in a sequence. In st step 2 we will find the value of i and the value of small m. So here the i indicates the starting number and m indicates the lag that is the test computes autocorrelation between every m numbers. Step 3 using i that is starting number m lag and n the total number of the values in a sequence. So we need to find the capital M. So the capital M is nothing but the length of a subsequence which is being tested. So that that has to satisfy the, this particular condition. So we have to find what is the value of M. The capital M is nothing but what here the largest integer which is going to satisfy this condition. See once after finding the sequence of the random numbers which is which are to be tested. Next in step 4 we will compute the distribution of the estimator that is rho im so which is denoted as cap rho im and standard deviation of the estimator that is sigma rho i m using the following equation. So in fifth step we will compute the statistic value that is test value by using following equation that is z0 equal to cap rho i m divided by sigma standard deviation cap rho cap rho i m. So we will take a decision that is if z0 is greater than minus z alpha divided by 2 greater than or equal to and less than or equal to z alpha divided by 2 then we do not reject the null hypothesis of the independence means we say that these sequence of the random numbers which are independent in a sequence. So let us solve the problem. Consider the following sequence of the 
random numbers test whether fifth eighth thirteenth and so on numbers in a sequence are auto correlated using alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so the alpha is nothing but what here the level of the significance so what is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis even if it is true that in that is indicated by the alpha so the solution is first we find the value of i and m that is beginning number and the length of the lag so according to the problem statement they have specified that the test should start from third number and therefore i equal to what here 3 and lag that is m we they have specified as what here third number eighth number and thirteenth number and so on we have to consider so therefore 8 minus 3 equal to 5 and 13 minus 8 is equal to 5 say there is a gap between first number and the next number which is to be considered is 5 so every fifth number so we will consider for testing for the independence independence so in step 2 we use the value of i m and n and we find the subsequence which is being tested so that is ri ri plus m ri plus 2m so on so where m is the largest integer such that this condition has to be satisfied so we have to choose the largest integer for the m such that this condition has to be satisfied so let us consider the value of capital m as what here 2 so in this case we obtain the value 18 so this is less than 30 so condition is satisfied 3 we will consider so the last number we get is 23 that is this condition will also be satisfied so when we consider the value of m as a 4 then we get the value 28 this condition will also be satisfied and when we consider the value of m as a 5 so here we get value 33 which is uh, greater than 30 so this condition is not satisfied so out of all these three values for a m the 4 is what here largest integer so we consider the largest integer value for m as a what here 4 and we will uh, generate a sequence of the integer which is considered for the testing so ri ri plus m so on ri plus m plus 1 into m so that is third number nothing but uh, this number and uh, eighth number r eighth number is nothing but this one and next r 13th number so this value and next r 23rd value this one and sorry r 18th number and r 23rd number this one and we consider r uh, 28th number nothing but this one so all these numbers we will consider for the testing so let us solve the problem in third step we will compute the distribution of the estimator, estimator that is row im and standard deviation of the estimator by using following equation so the distribution of the estimator is computed by using this equation so the values are substituted and we get the value that is minus 0 0.1945 and standard deviation of the estimator is calculated by using uh, this formula right so here the values are substituted in the equation so the standard deviation of the estimator is 0 0.1280 
and using the distribution of estimator that is cap rho i m and standard deviation of the estimator we will find the test statistic value that is z not equal to rho cap rho i m divided by standard deviation of cap rho i m so z not will be what here minus 1.516 so the value of z not is 1 point minus 1 point 516 so this value is compared with the critical value so where alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so that is uh, minus 1.516 is compared with minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 so this value lies between these two values so that's why the null hypothesis is accepted means we don't have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis thank you so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe for more videos on system modeling and simulation thank you